Hey YouTube, my name is Zach and I'm the creator of Cassandra Mar and today I'm going to be doing part 3 in this series of tutorials explaining how to create your own programming language. In the last tutorial we finished the intro lesson into EBNF form, then defined the syntax of the language that we're going to be using to go to the compiler, and then we took a look at what a compiler is and how it works. And today we're going to be starting to code our compiler with Microsoft's Visual C Sharp 2008 Express Edition. If you're following along with these tutorials and you don't have Microsoft Visual C Sharp, you can download it at one of the links in the description. Okay, so let's get started. First off, open up C Sharp. After that, you're going to want to click on the project button by create and make sure you've selected console application. After that, you can rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to rename mine to test compiler. Once in the code screen, you'll notice that you have the program.cs file selected. We're going to code this one last and we're going to add four other code files for each part of the compiler the scanner parser AST and code generator so let's go to add new item or control shift A and the add new item button is right under the edit button once you get to this window select code file and let's rename this first one scanner.cs if you don't have the .cs it won't work because it won't be recognized as a C sharp file Next, let's add the parser.cs. After that, let's add the ast.cs. Finally, let's add the code generator.cs. Okay, the way we're going to code this is going to be the scanner. AST, parser, code generator, then the program.cs last. Okay, so let's get started. Now, if you're familiar with C Sharp, you know that you declare libraries like this. But we're not going to do that in the scanner, AST, parser, and code generator. We're going to do them like this. So our first library is going to be collections, if I can type. After that is going to be the IO library. Finally, we're going to be using the text library. After that, we're going to want to declare a public sealed class. And we're going to name it Scanner. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to type in private, read only. Collection. I list. Less than sign object greater than sign, and we're going to title this one result. After that, we're going to declare a public scanner. It's going to be io dot text reader. going to be input. Within this, we're going to type in this dot result equals new collection dot list object. After that, we type in this dot scan. Now the scan hasn't been declared yet, so it's going to be an error. After that, we're going to type in public collection dot i list object tokens. And within this, 
I'm going to type in get curly bracket return this dot result. There you go. After that, we want to add a little bit of math into our uh, program. This is going to make it easier to code the compiler. So, we type in region, and we're going to call this one uh, arithmetic constants. And we type in public, static, read only. And we type in object. And I'm going to name this one add equals new object. Okay, we're going to do the same that we just did with add, for, subtract, multiply, divide, semicolon, and equals. Okay, after that. What we're going to want to do is we're going to end the region to so number sign end region. Next, we want to declare a private void. We name this one scan. This one is going to be an IO dot text reader input. And within this, we're going to declare a for loop, or sorry, a while loop. Well, input dot peak is not equal to negative one. Declare a char, name it ch. equals char input dot peak under that we're going to do an if statement if char dot is white space input dot read else else if char that is letter or the character equals this text dot string builder we name this one a cum equals new text that's string builder.